The Lioness of Lionheart Show is brought to you by Post. The cereals that make breakfast a little bit better. Post cereals make breakfast a little bit better. Welcome to the new sanctum of Biograph Days, Biograph Nights. We have an early morning theme here, and I'm testing out... <laughs> Never talk with your mouth full. We're going to testing out some new cereals on the market. First up, I mean, come on. Moi has to be able to test out Batman cereal, and that's what we're doing on tonight's show, testing out cereals. Because if you look inside this Batman cereal, all the little cereals look like bat symbols. But would you believe that one of the newest collectibles coming on the market is cereal boxes? And there are people paying upwards to, what's the proper way to cut a banana? Where my mother wouldn't be going, you're gonna cut your fingers the way you're doing that, sonny boy. But collectible items of the future are definitely cereal boxes. Because there are people who are baby boomers who are paying up to six to twelve hundred dollars for cereal boxes that they remembered as a kid from over 30, 40 years ago. I'm Buffalo B. Take my advice, get Nabisco eat honey. Also rice. A B C D E F G. Alphabets for you and me. The shape is new, a new taste too. So nutritious, good for you. Good for you. Try Alphabets and you will see. Go back, Bobby is a boy of nine. He can really hit that wine. He's a star because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. He's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. 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 So next time, pick a pack of Cheerios, pick a pack of tricks, pick a pack of jets. Pick a pack of kicks and Wheaties too. The choice is up to you with the Betty Crocker pick a pack package. Oh yeah! She means with honey on the outside, sugar on the inside, pops up sweet, back and sweet, a taste that knocks you off your feet. Kellogg sugar smack. Yeah, a Kellogg sugar smack with the famous one, two, crunch, honey, sugar. That kind of smack. Come on, let me have one. Sorry. But if I don't get my Kellogg sugar smacks, I get up on the wrong side of the bed. Me too. <laughs> Kellogg sugar smacks come in snack pack too. Yeah. Collectible items. Here's another one. How's that for a cereal box? But I'm almost prepared here with my Batman cereal to test out. Let's take a look at some early cereal commercials from the 1950s. <laughs> The Cheerios Kid versus Sir Neville the Nasty. The night salute there, lady. They're off! Wait, kid! You forgot your... Cheerios. Quick, wrestle up some muscle with the Cheerios breakfast. Little O's of oats toasted crisp all around, crisp all through. Cheerios and milk are packed with muscle-making protein. Wow, he's got Cheerios muscle. <laughs> and go power! Rustle up some muscle with a Cheerios breakfast. Kids, aren't you forgetting something? Right. The big G stands for goodness. Also... Girl! Guess what's happened? The Cocoa Pops? Yup. Now they're made with real Hershey's cocoa. Wow! Chocolate-flavored Cocoa Pops. Yummy, yum! The big G stands for goodness. Look out! Beware! The Jets are on the march. It's good! Make your play the winning play. Get the winning flavor of Jets, another big G cereal. Lord, I have invented the bowl. It's a beauty, Harv. Oh, look at her spin. You don't spin it, Claude. You put cornflakes in it. Kicks is cornflakes? Not flat flakes. Kicks is like a round cornflake. Round? Impossible. To the untutored mind, impossible. But to the extremely smart, round's the reason kicks stay crisp in milk. Don't get soggy like flat flakes. And the big G stands for goody. Goodness. Now, excuse me while I indulge. Not with your hands, Harve. Eat your kicks with my new invention. The rake. 
George, you're just not ready for kicks. You're on a safari when suddenly a gorilla swings from a tree. So you take out your frostios and milk and see. Out zooms the energy three. Oatman with oat vitamin B1 and energy power. Frostman with sugar frosting for quick energy. Milkman with milk protein for muscle energy. Get a frostios breakfast. Let the energy three fill you with triple energy. Frostios! Look, Captain Crunch, a mutiny. Where? Where? Oh, it's the good ship Bouncy, and they're putting Captain Blah over the side. I lost you, Swabs. That's against the law of the sea. And it's bad manners, besides. We demand better grub for breakfast. Captain Blah serves soggy cereal. Blah! Uh, what in the world shall I do? Be firm. Let them know who's boss and feed them Cap'n Crunch cereal. It's got corn for crunch and oats for punch. And it stays crunchy, even in milk. It do? Hmm, delicious hooray, sir. All is forgiven, Captain Blah. Come back on board. Aye, and bring that cereal with you, sir. Say, please. Pretty please, with sugar and cream. Uh, just with cream. <laughs> it already has the sugar on it. Captain Crunch, it's from Quick. Well, let's see. We've got to move Barbie out of the way. We'll be right back with Barbie cereal. But it's ready to test out. Uh, maybe just... Mmm, crunchy. A little bit more milk. Low-fat milk, of course. Not bad. Batman cereal is good. Now, if you happen to be a trickster, let's take a look at some tricks commercials. When I volunteered for moon duty, they said I could have anything I wanted. So, here I am. Alone with tricks. The corn cereal with fruit-flavored goodness, and no kids to take them. Oop, I'm weightless. That is you luscious fruit colors. Come back, raspberry red. Stop, lemon yellow. Halt, orange orange. Hey, I'm on the moon. Uh-huh. And now for tricks. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Moon kids, too? I should have known. The big G stands for goodness. Here's Tommy. Eight o'clock in the morning and he's daydreaming already. He's wondering what it would be like to have breakfast with Captain Strong at the Space Academy. Well, Tommy, why don't you uh, step through the picture and find out? And take along that box of pep. Swell treat for the cadets. Welcome change from food capsules. Tell them pep is an honest-to-goodness taste thrill. And most important, Kellogg's pep gives you more builder-upper food values than any other wheat flakes. More sunshine vitamin D, more vitamin B1, more food values that help build stronger muscles. And that's what a space cadet needs. Just look at that marvelous multi-flavored pep. How about it, Captain Strong? Pretty sensational, huh? Uh-oh. Time sure slips by, doesn't it, Tommy? And now you've got to say so long. It was a lot of fun, though, even if it wasn't for real. But better snap out of it, because there's lots more fun ahead. A busy day. So you're smart if you help build up strength and energy with the build-up wheat cereal, Kellogg's Pep. Some folks bring you the right stuff, the wrong stuff, the good stuff, the bad stuff. Ira brings you the rest of the stuff. That's right, the stuff he got his hands on. <laughs> so remember, watch the Biograph Days Home Shopping Show every Sunday night, 1.30 a.m. Channel J. Or else... I do what he says. Well, I gotta tell you something, we'll be right back to today's adventures, but in the art of cereal box collecting, if you have to start doing it, look at this, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ralston Perina has the greatest collection of cereal boxes I've ever seen, and the cereal is not bad. Now the problem is, you just you got to buy one to test it out, and you have to have one to put away as a collector's item. The other thing is, if you go into a party, you break up with your girlfriend, Valentine's Day is around the corner. 
get Barbie cereal, give that as a gift. You got to go to a party besides bringing Danish if you go into somebody who's Jewish in Brooklyn. I'm going to take a look at some of the premiums they gave away inside of cereal boxes. Well, look at this. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cereal box number two. A special hologram. They have a whole series of them coming out. And Ralston Perino has on a lot of the cereal boxes holograms. Kids are getting them, collecting them, and saving them. Gosh, someone is signaling with a flashlight. <whistles> and a whistle. And a clicker. <laughs> he has a signal wrist flashlight. This plastic flashlight sends out red, green, or white beams of light. And here's the clicker and the whistle. To get one, send 50 cents with a box top from Nabisco Wheat Honeys or Rice Honeys to Signal, Box 70, New York 46, New York. Think of the fun you'll have with your official Superman t-shirt. And now, here's how you can be the first in your gang to get yours. For each Superman t-shirt you want, send the top from a box of Kellogg Sugar Frosted Flakes and only 50 cents in coin. Yes, kids, there's a free, exciting 32-page comic book about Superman's adventures in each special Sugar Smacks box. Kellogg Corn Flakes offer you the official Superman belt. Now, you'll want to be one of the first to have your own flying Superman, so listen carefully, because here's all you do to get yours. Send one box top from Kellogg's Corn Flakes and just 10 cents. That's one box top and just 10 cents to Flying Superman, Box 330, Battle Creek, Michigan. Hey, what's going on down there? Didn't you know? <laughs> the Bisco is making plastic models of us. Oh boy, then let's all smile. Everybody say cheese. Uh, never mind cheese, say Nabisco Juniors. Yes, say Nabisco Juniors, because only in Nabisco Juniors can you get free plastic models of the Spoon Men. Just place one on your spoon. Then you're ready to dig into Nabisco Juniors with a natural flavor and goodness of 100% whole wheat. Hey, kids, look what's new. A brand new cereal just for you. Twinkles, the new star-shaped cereal in the storybook package. See? Inside, delicious, crispy, crinkly stars. And outside, a real storybook. All about Twinkles, the magic elephant. Wow, look at them go! Motorific sports cars. Boy, there's no stopping them! Motorific sports cars, they're terrific. Battery-powered, motorific sports cars by Ideal. Get a sports car free. Yes, free, with labels from the Procter & Gamble products shown here. Your free motorific sports car has chassis, motor, and a surprise body. Maybe a T-Bird. Or Jaguar. Or Mustang. Or Stingray. Later, buy the exciting motorific torture track and other interchangeable bodies. Get your motorific sports car free. Send in labels from these products. Jif peanut butter. Crisco shortening. Duncan Hines cake mixes. And Crisco oil. Details on this display at your favorite food store. Motorific. It's free. After a long, hard day of doing God knows whatever the hell it is you do, don't you just love the fact that you can sit back and relax and watch Biograph Days, Biograph Nights, where you can relax and watch the golden memories of your past? Hey, remember that beeperoni ad? And where were you the first time you saw that Ajax ad? <laughs> Things were simpler then. I had little to no responsibilities. <laughs> Not like now. Out of work. Thirty-something. Nothing to do with my life but sit around and watch some show that reruns commercials I used to avoid watching in the first place. Biograph Days, Biograph Nights, you can have it! Well, thanks for tuning in tonight's presentation of Biograph Days, Biograph Nights. Now, is this Batman cereal box worth anything because I've already opened it up and eaten most of the cereal? Or do I keep it closed and sealed like this Kaboom box in 20, 30 years from now? It's worth a lot of money. Major collectible, mint in a box. And, of course, we've got Nintendo cereal, Ralston Purina. They've got great collectible items out besides Ghostbuster 2 cereal. And, someday in the near future, Crunchy Stars. If you're into the Muppets, we got Crunchy Stars. Buy one, put one away. Major Biograph Thought tricks are just not for kids. They're now major collectibles. <laughs> See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.
Bring him a hard life to the job. And poor Bobby's black is knocked off. The one reason I started TVDays.com was to have a place to post my videos and the films that I've been restoring. Stomach's jumping, and I'll feel worse tomorrow. I feel Robot Commando. I'm a very lucky girl. I've got a tootsie roll pop. This is some of the rarest one-of-a-kind material in the country. Unless my collection is saved, preserved, and put somewhere else, no one is going to see this again. You love tootsie roll pops. Real one. No idea. This is terrible. The one we want is caught in the middle. Hey, cuz, you all rat tail sharp. How about giving us a few of them pennies? One amazing find was caught in the middle, uh, a color kinescope that was made by CBS in 1970. And as I'm watching it, there's Morgan Friedman. I got things breaking for me. Pretty soon I'll be able to throw some pennies your way. Nice pennies. Once it aired, it was never seen again, and nobody has a copy anymore, and I was able somehow to get one. But just transferring it and fixing the audio is one thing. I have to put touches up to a lot of the video, so when I'm playing it here, you can see how dark it is in spots. I have to then lighten it up. And now it's starting to look like something. And the man's just waiting to blow you away. And if you ever get the chance, bye bye, black boy. There's so much history there that needs to be documented correctly. And hopefully, if I can bring it to the public, that will happen. Uh, is this box number 20 or number 20? This is ridiculous. This all has to be taken out. Uh, more 16 millimeter. This is 45 years of collecting. And now I have to figure out how to finance saving it all. That's the big question. Because there's a lot of rare, one-of-a-kind items that need to be saved. Must be small. So the key is to transfer it all now digitally, then store it all away. And my goal one day is to walk into a building and there is everything I have in little plastic containers on a wall. Organized. George, George, stop the machine. Stop the machine. This film so old it just breaks up in your fingers. Can't you patch it together again? Not a chance. Cellular's only good for 20 years or so, and then it gets so brittle you can't hardly touch it. You mean... You mean that we can't even see it? Now that we have it? There's just nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Never had the world known a more wonderful way of recording knowledge. But now it was realized that it wasn't permanent that half a century of history was about to decay out of existence. <laughs>